Hello everyone. I am Saad Al-Falah, a PhD student at the University of Mohammed bin Abdullah. I would like to thank the organizers and all those who participated in this international event. My work is entitled State of Charge Estimation of Lithium-Ion Battery, Simulation and Comparative Study of Machine Learning Based Modeling Methods. In this presentation, we will adopt the following plan. Beginning with an introduction, then the estimation of the state of charge, simulation and comparative study of machine learning based modeling methods. After that, we will see a simulation and the simulation of the charge and the charge of the battery. Then I will present the results obtained in the simulation and we will finish with a conclusion. To optimize the use of the battery. A battery management system, BMS, in the vehicle is essential to know in real time the state of the battery, such as the state of charge, the state of LT, measure the voltage of each cell, measure the current and temperature of the battery, balancing of cells, monitoring of cells, thermal management, protect the battery from overcharging and deep discharge and recharge speed strategy. At this point, we will start with the interest of a BMS. The advantages of a BMS provides user safety to prevent accidents, helps you better manage your battery power. The BMS maximizes the life of your battery. The BMS presents advanced algorithms that adapt to all type of battery. Then, for the critical situation of a battery, we find the overcharging, the deep discharging, exposure to high or low temperatures, and the short circuit. Let us now turn to the consequences of these critical cases mentioned before. The important diminution of the performance of the battery, the battery life is reduced, the risk of fire. However, the use of a BMS is essential. It is the protector that prevents the battery from being exposed to critical condition. To talk a little about the state of charge. The state of charge estimate is an important piece of data as it shows the current capacity of the battery. State of charge represents the percentage of stored energy or electrical charge remaining in a cell or battery. Machine learning and deep learning are two categories of artificial intelligence that can more accurately predict results or characteristics without using standard computational strategy. Currently, many studies focus on artificial neural network for state of charge estimation with current voltage and temperature as input and state of charge as output. In addition, algorithms such as super vector machine and Kainerst neighbors have been used for state of charge estimation. In this work, different models are studied and their performance is compared to determine which method gives the best results for state of charge estimation. The methods applied in this presentation are Rich Lasso, ElasticNet, Gradient Boston Regressor, Decision Tree Regressor, Keynest Neighbors Regressor, and Random Forest Regressor. The first step necessary to solve a supervised learning problem are as follows. The first step is to import a dataset that contains features and a target. The second step is to develop a model with its parameters and the machine will learn the parameters. The third step is to calculate the cost function associated uh, with the model. And the fourth step is the creation of an algorithm to minimize the cost function. This figure show as an algorithm to estimate the state of charge. First, we must define the objective of the algorithm and then 
initialize the input vectors. Next, we train the model with the input and output vectors. Then, we calculate the root mean square error, and if it is high, we will pre-process and enrich the information. Then, we look to train the model again to decrease the error. To estimate the state of charge by an artificial intelligence-based method, the data must be collected by adopting an experimental method. A climate chamber is then necessary to condition the battery temperature and a battery tester to perform the charge and discharge protocol. During the test, thermal and electrical variables such as cell temperature, current and voltage must be measured. But we turn to a simulation method that seems interesting. For this, we choose the MATLAB Simulink software, which seems to be able to simulate the charging and discharging scheme of the battery at different temperature and power, and thus collect the electrical and thermal data. What you see here are the voltage curves during the discharge process with different values of constant current by setting the value of the operating temperature. And as you can see, the higher the discharge current, the shorter the discharge time of the battery. And to test the validity and the reliability of the state of charge estimation method. Python is used to simulate each model with different training data. So as you can see, we tested different models to finally choose the best performing model. The results presented show that the random forest regression model follow the line of the actual state of charge much better than the other methods, allowing it to predict the battery state of charge successfully. The performance comparison of all methods for constant current discharge profiles. Random forest regressor has a minimum mean absolute error of 0.5% and a coefficient of determination of 0.99. Lasso and Ridge have the worst performance, with a coefficient of determination 0.83. For variable current discharge profiles, Lasso and Ridge always offer the worst performance, while Random Forest Regressor still shows the best performance, with a mean absolute error of 384% and a coefficient of determination of 0.99. Lasso and Ridge are still the worst performance with a coefficient of determination of 0.77. To conclude, accurate state of charge estimation is critical for battery management system. To protect electric vehicle batteries from overcharging or deep discharging. In this presentation, a comparative study between different machine learning techniques was performed to make an accurate estimation of the SOC of lithium ion batteries. In this work, we observe a good correspondence between the reference SOC and the estimated SOC. In addition, the results show that the random forest regressor model is reliable in estimating SOC with a coefficient of determination of 0.99 and an average absolute error of 0.5%. In future work, we plan to incorporate the effect of battery operating temperature into the simulation to estimate the state of charge with high accuracy. And with this, I would like to thank you very much for your attention. We will be happy to take questions. Thank you very much.